Hi everyone, welcome to Focal Academy. See this problem. Uh, this is a problem on the diode circuits. Here, two branches are there. Uh, in one branch, there is a German diode in series with a 3 kilo resistor. In another branch, there is a silicon diode. Both are in parallel to each other. And asking that how to find current I which passes through this branch and the voltage V0 across 1 kilo resistor. This is the problem. In the first step, Read the circuit that is how the sources and grounds are connected to each other. Here, pass to are connected, that means pass to and uh, it will be grounded. So, pass to are connected to the pass to pin for diode. So, both diodes are in forward bias. So, it is a closed circuit. Now, we can easily find the current I on V0. So, first of all, recall the properties of diode. So, for silicon diode, the voltage drop is 0 0.7 volts. For German diode, it is 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. Here, I am taking 0 0.2. In some books, it was given 0 0.3 volts. But according to properties of parallel branches, both branches having the same voltage drop. That means, so whatever the voltage drop in this branch, that is the voltage drop in this branch. But here, 0 0.7. Here 0.2, so then here the voltage drop is 0.5. So this is the voltage drop across 3 kilo ohms. Now let's see here how to find current I and V0 here. So across these parallel branches, there is a voltage drop only 0.7 volts from the 10 volts. So that is nothing but 10 volts is equal to 0.7 volts across this plus the voltage drop across 1 kilo resistor, that is V0. So, from this we get V0 equal to 9.3. So, just here I am applying the KVL. Next, how to find current I? That is, which passes through 3 kilo ohm resistor. So, in 3 kilo ohm resistor, we have the voltage drop and resistance is there. Now, we can easily find current I by using Ohm's law. That is, I equal to V by R and V is 0 0.5 volts. That is, the voltage drop across 3 kilo ohms. So, 0 0.5 by and resistance is 3 kilo ohms. By simplifying this, we will get 0 0.1667 milliampers. So, this is the current and this is the output voltage for the given problem. And this is the process of simplification. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Thanks.